Joe? Beth, a man drove up to me today when I was getting video of that debris from the roof collapse on Shoon Street. He said, we're in roof roulette right now. And I asked him what he meant by that. He told me that a lot of people are wondering when the next roof might collapse with record snow and a number of high risk roofs in the area. The municipality now urging people to check their own roofs for possible issues. It was just a debris field. There's a lot of snow coming. There's a lot of frost heaves. Robert Rodehaver and Anthony Ladd worked down the street from where a roof collapsed into a commercial warehouse Monday in Anchorage. Insulation particles and some wood and stuff like that in the uh, in the snow and stuff along the bank there, and uh, and then I just happened to look up and and noticed that the uh, that the roof was uh, pixie sticked out. Rodehaver had two reactions to seeing the fallout. First reaction was uh, hope nobody got hurt. Uh, it looked pretty pretty bad. Uh, everything looked pretty wrecked in here. Uh, second reaction was is I had pretty good suspicion that it probably uh, met the same criteria as some of the other uh, incidents as we had uh, last year and earlier this year. His concerns are shared by many, including structural engineers with the municipality. If you have this tension in the bottom cord, that is going to put strain on these bottom cord connecting plates. That's Daniel King, a structural engineer. When you have a large snow load acting on a roof, it's going to apply all this load down on your roof. If you have a bottom cord bearing condition, what you'll end up with is a lot of compression. He's drawing an example of a wood truss frame, which is the same type of architecture in this building. It can be a dangerous year for roof collapse if people don't take the proper precautions. Especially buildings with wood truss frames built in Anchorage between 1970 and 1990. That is why we make the recommendation for commercial buildings to have their snow removed. You know, if they cannot remove the snow, then they should not be using the warehouse until they can get the snow removed or get them analyzed to make sure they're safe. King and engineering services manager Ross Knopfsinger says everyone with roofs like these need to either get the snow removed or avoid being in the building at all. Rhoda Haver says it's better to be safe than sorry. Buildings can be fixed, stuff can be replaced, but you know, loss of life, you know, once it's gone, you don't get it back. The Anchorage Fire Department says there have been 16 roof collapses between last winter and this winter. One of them was fatal. The city encourages people to have an engineer check their roof to see if it has a wood truss frame or if it was built with parallel cord trusses. If so, the municipality is saying you should not be in the building unless the snow is removed.